Hi guys, Jameson here. My wife's sitting in with us today. She's going to be the hands I'm going to be drawing. So I'm working with Conte Crayon again today. I've got myself an eraser, okay? And I've got myself a brush just to brush the paper off as we go. And so I'm gonna get started on drawing. Today I'm gonna to be doing contour drawing. So you may see me lift my hands some off the paper, but the idea is I'm gonna try and follow the contour of her hands as I'm going and uh, then go back and add the shading and the detail afterwards. So how's everybody doing? Is everybody staying warm? Or if you're down in Australia, are you staying cool this time of year? Anybody catch one division on the two? That show's getting really interesting here lately. If you like the MCU. I'm not watching a whole lot of shows these days. Trying to work on the art business. So one of the things I wanted to mention to you guys is in a contour drawing like this, we're not gonna focus so much on the immediacy of the detail of the drawing. We're gonna work more on the shapes. And once we get the shapes in, then we're gonna go back, maybe do a little bit of reductive work, take some things out, add some things in, uh, and you'll get more of an idea of what I'm talking about as we go. Has anyone ever done contour drawing before? Amethyst, have you ever done contour drawing? No, no I haven't. But sitting here watching you, I'm wondering what would you consider the easiest part and the hardest part of contour drawing? Contour drawing, in my mind, gets easier as you go. I didn't really warm up today, although I did do a couple of quick sketches before we got started. Um, but usually, you know, you might want to start out, do three or four sketches before you do your serious drawings. And then that way, as you go in, your eye is starting to train uh, to follow what's in front of you more. Jameson, is this something you learned at school or something that you were doing before you went to the Art Institute? Um, I remember doing contour drawings when I was a kid. Uh, really? It, yeah, actually. Uh, I had art classes in elementary school, uh, and they had us do a little bit of contour drawing then. So I remember it early on. I don't remember it being emphasized in middle school or high school drawing. Um, but then when I went to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. My first semester, they kind of threw me in the deep end of the pool uh, and uh, put me in advanced figure drawing with Kevin Wolf, whom a lot of the uh, art instructors and students used to refer to as having an art boot camp. Uh, because the first part of the semester, you know, he was kind of strict, maybe a little bit scary, but he was hard on the students. And so uh, he kind of had the, the uh, reputation of being a hard teacher. But in fact, uh, he was humorous. He told jokes. Uh, but that was usually the second part of the semester. You had to get in there and do the work first. And then he would open up and start being a little more congenial and funny uh, and welcoming in the class. He wanted to make for sure that you were there to learn, uh, that you weren't just there to goof off and waste your time and his time.
Sorry, it got all quiet all of a sudden, guys. I know you're wondering, what the heck? Why are they getting quiet? Well, you know, if you paint, you draw, you know, you probably do the same thing. Hoping that here in the very near future, we're going to start having some music on the show. Uh, one of the things I'm looking at, uh, the new Photoshop Elements 2021, uh, has music tracks on it, as far as I understand. And as you go to lay in your video, it will actually stretch out uh, a piece of music to match that video. And so I'm hoping to use some of that, maybe start getting some royalty-free stuff so that we don't get dinged the way a lot of the guys uh, and folks get dinged that I watch uh, when I'm watching uh, show reviews, movie reviews. They get dinged for having too much content from the original source in their reviews. So, we don't want to do that with our show. And one of the things we want to do, guys, is you want to start looking around the whole drawing once you get it somewhere in this neighborhood and start saying, okay, what have I got as far as detail? What's working? You know, is anything standing out that I don't really like? You know, and you can start thinking about some shading, too, at this point. You know, one of the things you won't see me doing too much of today, because we're just trying to do about a 15-minute drawing, is a lot of blending, because there's really just not the time for it. So I'm just adding some supplementary shadows, what I can see from the lights that uh, we've got set up in the studio here. And then as you go along, I mean, something like this, folks, you can you could turn a life drawing into something that you spend hours on. You know, you can do multiple studies. Uh, you can keep going until you build up something that you want to make into a painting. You know, and something else you could do, you know, when you're doing work like this is you could do multiples. So I've done this set of hands on this paper. You know, this is almost like a warm up. Uh, but you could just keep do going and you could draw a set of hands here and here and here, you know, use up your whole page, you know, think about early on when you don't have a lot of materials, it's okay to take up a whole page of drawings, you know, and as you get better and you get more refined with what you're doing, you start thinking about a drawing as a piece of art rather than as a preparation maybe for another piece of art, why, then you might draw back once more and only having one drawing on a sheet. And that way, uh, if you choose to sell those uh, or use those as part of a show uh, or to demonstrate some of your skills, why, you've got that one example standing out of your work. So how do you decide what you're going to erase? Uh, that's reductive, Amethyst. Uh, things that I erase are things just really that are sticking out to me as I'm working right now that don't feel like they fit with what I'm seeing. So my hand's going over it, they're making the marks, but then I go in and the eye is trying to match what the hand has made uh, in front of me and trying to see if the correlation uh, is accurate or close to what I'm seeing. If it's not, why then I try and reduce the amount of detail that's there. I pull back a little bit. Uh, you know, and that goes back to the very beginning of the drawing, the architecture of the drawing when I was talking about if you get really good at contour drawing, uh, it saves you more work later on in the drawing. You know, you don't have to. Uh, I consider myself to be fairly average as far as contour drawing goes, but one of the things I have noticed over the years is the longer I draw, so if I were to do this process, say, for, you know, three hours, why my last hour, the work's going to be a lot stronger than the first two hours. 
Uh, and I really think that's because as you warm up, you know, the relationship between the eye and the hand, what's going on in front of you, you're getting more in sync with your ability to perceive and to interpret. done here folks I'm gonna do too much more work it's good if you can while you're working you know to think about not having a lot of just really harsh marks with no way for the eye uh, to travel around in the space in other words, if you just have hard edges, your eye tends to swoop in and go right off the page. You know, or you can go all around something but really not have access to it. You know, so be cognizant of that, folks, when you're drawing or you're painting. You know, try and leave spaces for your eye to be able to travel into the work. Uh, you know, to let the light in, uh, to let the shadow out. You know, and as you can see, even now when I'm saying we're about done, I'm still correcting, I'm still adding. Uh, and you'll find yourself doing that. You know, artwork, good or bad, uh, usually when it's finished, it's just abandoned. You really have just said to yourself, I'm done. You know, I'm done with this particular work and you've chosen to move on to another. And so, you know, even the great works of art, if you listen to master artists, uh, either in their writings or in video or film, talk about their work, you'll hear them say oftentimes that they didn't so much finish the work as abandon it. All right, guys, we're sitting at around 12 minutes. Okay, I want to thank you folks for sitting in with us today. Uh, I hope we haven't completely bored you, and I hope you've enjoyed this brief episode. Uh, remember to like us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, IGTV, uh, the Redbubble Store, the official uh, portfolio page. Uh, we're Original Works of Art. That'll be coming soon, uh, as well as uh, the store where you can buy some merchandise with uh, artwork on it. All right, guys, my name's Jameson. Good to see you folks. Uh, we'll see you next time.